Let's go across to the growth focus, to the capital expenditure by the government. I'm joined by Mr. Narendran. He, of course, is the past president of CI and the CEO and managing director of Tata Steel. So, Mr. Narendran, I think the huge infrastructure focus would be something you would greatly welcome. Tell us for you, what's the big headline out of this budget? I think certainly, as you said, the infrastructure focus is uh, very welcome. As CII, we've been asking for it, and I think every year for the last three years, the finance minister has, uh, in some sense, given us what we've asked for. And I think it's uh, great to see that there's been a 33% increase this year. And I think what's also important is last year, they seem to have spent what they had uh, allocated mm -hmm. for expenditure. It's not just the allocation, but the expenditure. Because infrastructure has a huge multiplier effect. Uh, it helps demand growth in industries like the one I represent, steel as well as cement. It helps the commercial vehicles industry. Uh, it creates employment across the country. So I think it has a huge impact. It also helps us as industry because uh, logistics has always been a bottleneck for us. Uh, logistics costs in India are higher than it is in other countries. So hopefully this helps us become more competitive outside the factory gates. And logistics costs in India about 13-14% of the GDP, whereas mm -hmm. in most of the countries it's around 8%. So it helps us in both ways, both in bringing down the cost of doing business as well as in creating demand. So as you said, a 33% increase in outlay up to 10 lakh crores, but we're also seeing a huge investment in railways infrastructure. You're seeing an investment in highways. Do you think this is all adding up to be really an ecosystem, which is uh, for corporate India and for giving jobs? Because that's really a key issue. Uh, Rajat Sethi is making that point. And also in increasing the jobs uh, for at a time when India is now the largest population in the world, uh, surpassing China. Absolutely. Uh, I think the multimodal approach is very important because uh, it's not just about building roads. Uh, I think railways uh, is how you can more efficiently move material across. Uh, it's more cost efficient, carbon efficient. And I think uh, the focus on coastal shipping is also very welcome because that's even more cost efficient and carbon efficient. So I think if you if you look at China, for instance, a lot of movement happens on waterways and then you have railways and then you have roads. Whereas in India, it's predominantly roads because the railways infrastructure is not kept up with the requirements. And uh, similarly, the waterways and ports have not really kept up pace. So I think this focus on a multimodal logistics ecosystem is very welcome. 